Are you ready with us for Nadezh's last day here? Guys, I actually can't believe it's already Nadezh's last day here. It literally yeah. feels like you just got here yesterday. Time really flew by so fast. She still has the full day here at least and the night, so that's all I'm really like counting on. I'm actually just so sad that this little girl's trip is over, but now it's time for me to visit her in Toronto. The rest of the girls left this morning. We already said our goodbyes last night because they left so early at like 6 a.m. So I'm not going to be waking yeah. up, sorry. There was just no way we were going to be up that early. Okay, Nadez used this moisturizer for the past couple of nights that she's been here. She said it's so good. It's the outset moisturizer. But we wanted to get some extra sleep in last night because we got back so late. But we forgot to shut the blinds and so the sun just woke us up naturally. <laughs> Which is better than an alarm, to yeah. be fair. Since it's Nadezh's last day here, I think we're just going to do some shopping and we're definitely going to get dinner somewhere. I'm going to take a break from doing any like face makeup as in skin tint or foundation because I feel like my skin's about to start acting out from the amount of makeup I've been putting on. Oh my god, the blue paint from last night's eyeshadow. I need to do another deep cleanse of my brushes soon because should we go out tonight? Yeah. It's my last night, bro. We have to. Okay. It's so cloudy out tonight. I mean today. Yes. <laughs> Guys, I also made a little like Sephora favorites video for you guys. It's kind of like recommendations and I think I'll post it today, if not tomorrow. Natty, what has been your favorite memory at oh, so far? Mm. I liked going out Pilates morning. But my favorite memory was going to Broadway. Again, oh my gosh, I forgot we did that. Guys, we I know, watched I like, I know we did one thing that I'm like forgetting right now. What is it? We watched Romeo and Juliet on Broadway and it was like their opening night and it was the most insane. Like, but yeah, it was beautiful. And when I mean beautiful, I mean Kit Connor is gorgeous <laughs> and the most handsome being alive. But like overall, the show was amazing. I really want to go see Anne Juliet next. Bye guys. Everybody say goodbye to Nadej. Bye guys. These are the things that no one can convince me to buy. First things first is Sony Angels. Like what the heck is happening with Sony Angels? Everybody has one. That's the ugliest thing I've ever seen. No offense, if you have one, good for you. Next is Stanley's. Are we really paying that much money for a bottle? There's people out there with like thousands of Stanley bottles in their house. Do you really need that many those bottles spill when you flip them spending that much money on a bottle that can't even hold the liquid inside the next one is dyson air wrap the only thing i want from dyson is the dyson air straight like that dries and straightens your hair at the same time next is energy drinks you will never catch me drinking energy drinks like that stuff is so bad for you i don't know how people can drink so many in one day and there's people drinking these every single day you need to rely on those drinks to stay awake you have a problem. Okay, I know a lot of people love this store, but Zara, never seen me buying in Zara. I tried once and it was not a good experience. Quality is meh. Prices are like, what? Next is this hand sanitizer that I've been seeing all over TikTok. I can't remember the name. Saw the price and they were like $10. Excuse me, why are hand sanitizers $10? The place where I'm never gonna buy anything ever again. Etsy from there once but that was like first and last time I made a big order and they are refunding me 10 miserable dollars like ten dollars so I've been waiting one month for my order there was an estimated delivery time it never arrived but yeah that's it bye hey guys get ready with me for school it's like really freaking cold in my house right now and I feel extremely tired I don't know why I'm so tired because I literally went to bed at like nine last night so I don't know what the deal is with that, but and my phone just keeps falling off my mirror and I'm actually gonna get so freaking mad. I woke up kinda late, so that's why my hair looks really weird. I don't know if y'all heard that, but my stomach literally just freaking growled so loud. I'm literally so freaking hungry. I'm pretty sure my allergies are coming back too because I feel like I can't breathe and I feel like, I don't know, I just don't feel good. Anyways, tomorrow, since Halloween's on Thursday, I think I'm gonna go buy a costume, like a hot dog costume from Target and go trick-or-treating with my friends. And then this weekend, it'll be like better because I can wear my actual costume and stuff. <sighs>
Oh my gosh, I don't think today is going to be my day because I can't even see. I also have a chemistry test today and I literally have no idea how I'm going to pass that because it says something about like polymetanic ions. Something like that. I don't even remember and like I don't even know what we're doing. So I will let you guys know if I fail that or not. Okay, I really need to hurry up because I literally only have 20 minutes to get ready and sometimes it takes me like 30 minutes to do my lashes and that's not good. I'm literally always running behind. I don't think I've ever actually been on time for anything. I literally don't know. It's Alana Del Rey kind of morning. Bro, I literally don't even know how I'm going to school today. Like, ugh. But I mean, after this week, we have a four-day weekend. So really, it's not that bad. Okay, I really need to hurry up because I'm going so slow and I do not have that much time. Oh, by the way, guys, for the giveaway, it's still going on. I've seen some comments asking, like, hey, is your giveaway still going on and stuff? Yeah, it's going on. And it, like, the giveaway doesn't stop until I hit 400k because that's what it's called, like, a 400k giveaway. So once I hit 400,000, that's when I'll, like, announce the winners. Not winners. I meant winner. Sorry, guys. I think I like loose powder better than pressed powder just because, like, it's more fun. And, like, I like to dust it off my face afterwards. Like, I don't know. Also, I feel like this powder works better for me. I honestly don't know if it's normal the way I do powder, but like I'll do powder like after my cream blush and then I'll go and put powder blush on. I don't know if that's normal. Like, I think I'm supposed to do just like all the blush and then powder, but I don't really know. I literally never know with makeup. I just wing it and like do whatever. I honestly don't even know how to do makeup really. Like, I don't know why you guys watch me. I'm pretty bad at makeup. I think I've gotten better since last year at least because last year my blush was like not it. Like I used to do my blush really weird. So I think I got better at blush, but that's it. And like I don't do the highlighter in the inner corners anymore. I used to do that a lot and it just looked like I had eye boogers in my eyes. All right, I really need to hurry up because I'm gonna get in trouble if I don't. All right, the hair is something. It's, it's fine though. Um, bye guys, thanks for watching today's Grim. Okay, so basically, we're going to Bianca's friend's party, but there's like 400 people going. <laughs> so classic. 400 is something. But we're going because why not? I'm going as a prisoner. Naya's going as a pirate. So, and then yeah, Bianca's going as a vampire. Bianca's costume that she was going to wear, we didn't let her out the house with because it was so, <laughs> so small. So Bianca's probably gonna know like everyone there, and me and Naya are probably just... We're gonna just be there together. <laughs> well, we do the same thing. Um, but yeah, so it's fine. We've got, we've got each other for when Bianca's like socialising and we just don't know anyone. But of course we'll socialise, we're not trying to say we're rude, but we're just not gonna know anyone. Which would be fun. I just got a brand new... Wait, there might be contour stick and I'm really happy. Have you found one? Oh, they dried out. Oh. Yep, that worked. Spooky. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> Guys, I'm doing a little bit of shimmer on my eye. Um, Jordan a t-shirt, twinkle tower. It's very good. Oh, 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 oh. I'm using the Givenchy powder. I really like this powder. I'm just going to put it under my eyes. And anyway, I'm going to sweat. Bianca's just done red sense. in one eye. Should I do Can both? You I do well? think both, you know. Do both. I think both. Guys, when you can't see properly, so you have to like... Use a flash is the worst. <laughs> anyway, um, my hair's a mess. But I wanted it to be like a messy. You look fucking night after night. Right, I've just put on these little lashes from Unicorn Cosmetics. I just use nights and put a few on the end. Um, I keep getting like my scar remark. Keep just doing this. It's really annoying me. Naya and Bianca have got wagon mamas. Wow. Setting with the icon. I'm just gonna put a little bit because it makes me glittery. I'm all dressed and ready. This is my fit. I think I look super cute. I love it. I was really big headed. I don't think I look super cute, but I think the outfit's super cute. 
Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Guys, it's me for school. So I have five tests today, but, like, I literally just need to get through today, and then, like, everything's fine. Because, like, yeah, today's going to suck, but then tomorrow's Halloween, Friday's Friday, and then it's, like, all weekend. So, like, just have to get through today. I really can't stand people talk to me in the morning. It's, like, I need to get ready, and my mom just always like, but basically, I have a calc test first period, and then it's, it's like double calc too, so it's like that's just like first and second. And then psych test third, and then I have business, which is like my break because I don't have anything for that. And then fifth period, I have like a retake for a physics test because everyone did so bad that he's letting us retake it during like our like physics lab free. And then sixth period, I have a physics quiz, and then seventh, a French quiz. So that's just like gonna suck. I don't even know why I put on a bit of face makeup today, but I did. But I feel like it just looks off because I'm not gonna like put a mascara on. Okay, you know what? I'm putting on a bit of mascara because I don't know. I haven't worn mascara in a while. But like, I just feel like it. Maybe it's a little bit brighter. I'll do that on the test. Okay. Wait, so Bye, Bye, guys. So, guys, get ready with me while I explain one thing that I just really don't like. I don't like it when people ask for money and then don't give it back. So like, for example, a friend will borrow money off you and they'll be like, oh, I'll give it you back tomorrow. And then a week's pass by. Like, why am I in the awkward position to be asking you for my money back? Like, why does that feel wrong? Why do I feel awkward asking for my own money back? You said I would have it back by tomorrow. Why is it seven days later? And then you'll ask, oh, have you got that 20 quid that I lent you last week? I'm like, oh, sorry, I don't have it. I'll have it to you by... Da, da, da. That is what pisses me off. I don't lend money out to no one because I just can't stand that. And it's not even like if they were spending it on something that they needed to spend money on, then yeah, that's fine. But they're spending it on like a top from PLT that they desperately needed for a party that they had tomorrow. Do you know what I mean? Another thing that annoys me is like a friend will message me and say, "Oh, can I borrow this? I'll, I'll, I'll pay you back." With what job? Sorry, like where are you pulling this money from? Like I know you don't have a job. And now you're trying to borrow 20 pounds off me. When, when, when and how are you getting me this 20 pound back? You know what I mean? So it's just, I don't do that no more. And another thing related to this topic that I can't stand is when people ask to borrow my clothes. They'll ask to borrow my clothes. Why have I not gotten my clothes back yet? And why when I ask you, oh, can I have my clothes back? It's like, oh yeah, I'll give me tomorrow. Tomorrow's been, babe. And then it takes like three months to get your clothes back. Or... You'll lend your clothes out, and then you'll ask them back, and like, oh, sorry, I don't know where they are, or, oh, I let so-and-so borrow them. I'm like, why are you letting so-and-so wear my clothes? You know what I mean? I just can't flipping stand it, man. Genuinely can't stand it. So I do not lend clothes out. I don't borrow anyone else's clothes. All of my clothes are mine. I don't think... There's nothing that I would want to borrow of anyone else's. I When I see clothes, I buy it, and then it's mine. It doesn't go anywhere. It's in my wardrobe, my clothes. It's got a lot of hot, so I took my jumper off, but I think I am going to change my outfit because it's, it's not eating. Anyways, I am getting ready to go to college because, you know, college again, I've had my week off, but my college week starts on a Monday and I just go in Monday, um, not Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Anyways, I'm really excited because last night I did a little impulsive PLT order. Also, me, Jack and Mia are going to like my family's slash Mia's family friends halloween birthday party on the first of november none of us have an outfit to wear and i was thinking do you know what i'm gonna be a mummy and i'm just gonna buy like a plain white dress literally like this but long as a dress and then i was thinking i can just go to home bargains or like bnm and just buy loads of bandages and then just bandage the whole dress up my arms everything and just be a mummy but then jack also wanted to be matching with me so we're gonna i'm going to jack's later to carve pumpkins and um, we're taking my little sister out to treating tomorrow yeah i'm going jack's later and we're just going to decide what other matching things we could do and if not then i think we're both just going to be um mummies i actually need to tell mia in case she wants to be a mummy as well actually before i decided i was going to be a mummy this morning um i was just going to wear all black and then just put like a ski mask on and just call myself a robber you know i feel like being a mummy is better just because i've never actually seen it before and it's actually scary oh this is another thing that really annoys me people having something to say about other people's halloween costumes like get over yourself mate it's halloween you can wear what you want you know what i mean that really annoys me personally for me for halloween i like to wear scary things not like you know, like princess dresses and stuff like i like seeing it i would want to dress up as it but i don't know it just feels wrong to not dress up as something scary for myself but i would was considering dressing up as um, princess tiana course guys i have no idea what i'm gonna carve on my pumpkin later i'm gonna go for like a cute vibe and i'm gonna 
give it like eyelashes or something just to make it look cutesy. I actually don't need to leave college till what time is it now? Half 11? Half 12? An hour and 15 minutes? I'm actually ready quite early. Oh, so I'm gonna clean my room first and then I might go and clean my car. Depending on how I feel because I don't know if I can actually be bothered doing that. It's just long. I do you want to change my outfit? But I have no outfits to change into. So I think I'm just gonna have to go with this one that I'm wearing. Uh, I'm just gonna have to put a bit of hair oil on my hair and then I am ready. And I'm just gonna clean my room and get something to eat. I actually love hair oil. You can just tell when it's in. Like, just look at my hair. Oh. Bye, guys. I love you. Mm. Hey, guys. Get ready with me. I'm just trying to be whether I want a bear or no bear. I'll figure out what it is. So, let's get ready. I've got dance today. And I'm going to use some Melanie skincare. I still feel sick, guys. I actually don't even know what's wrong with me right now. I've just rolled off the couch again. It's 11.30 on the dot. That's very late to be getting ready, but we roll. I slick my hair back because I'm really comfortable with it being in my face. Um, so we're having a slick back today. I'm going to use some cordially to wake me up. I'm getting so close. So close? So close. I'm getting so close to the scene. And then I've seen all over TikTok where um, Blair and Louis, I can't say it, um, get married and then Chuck comes in and, and then Blair brings down the hill. I think I'm going to say like an episode or two away. And I've been like sat there like fully trying to watch it all morning so I can get to the point and it's just not happened. Now I'm going to use some touch up. A little bit of my Tula skincare. Um, eyebrow. I don't know why I'm rolling it up like that. And then finally I'm going to do a tiny dot of my new lip balm because I don't want like my lips to be too moisturised so that when I come to my lip line they're too moisturised. We're going to use just a little bit of this today. I'm not going to use um, Rare Beauty because I want my makeup to be really glowy. I'm going to have a bit of bronzer and I can't be others warm it up on the back of my hand today so I'm just going to apply it straight to the face. Um, this is the Rare Beauty one shade Happy Sol. Now I'm going to use a little bit of my Dolly Beauty blush in shades Dolly Dye. Um, because, because it's very natural and very cutesy. And very demure. Have I done concealer? I've not done concealer. Mm, yeah, no, no, I haven't. Okay, I'm going to use some of my Lancome Serum Concealer in shade 125 W. I'm just going to put it there. And just a little bit, ooh, just a little bit of powder. Let me find my powder. Here's my Barbie powder buff. And here is my powder. And I'm going to use a little bit of my collection eyebrow gel. Now I'm going to use a little bit of my P. Louise Le Planet shade High Fire. Now a little bit of my P. Louise Le Conditioner. Um, just all over the lips. Because I don't have a clear gloss. But this works really well as well. It also hydrates my lips. I'm more good Okay, my lashes and then use Lash Sensational and I'll be back. I'm doing really well to tell you things that I no longer do now that I'm in a healthy relationship. Well, I say now that I'm in a healthy relationship, I have been for three years. Number one is worrying about what he gets up to when he goes out. If you have to worry anyways, then there's a reason you don't trust him, so you shouldn't be with him. And there's a reason why you don't trust him. Why is the reason that you don't trust him? Because I could not honestly sit on the edge of my bed every night that he decides that he wants to have with the lads and think, what the fuck is he up to? Instead, he just gets me my favourite takeaway, puts on my favourite programme and I'm asleep by 10. It's just not necessary, guys, to be with someone that gives you crippling anxiety when they leave the house. Number two is worrying about what I'm wearing. Like, I shouldn't have to worry what my boyfriend has to say about what I'm wearing on my own body. That's abnormal. It's abnormal. You should not be trying to dress your girlfriend at the ripe age of being an adult. Or any age, even if you're a teenager. Like... <laughs> If I want to get my tits out, honey, I fucking will. Number three is asking my boyfriend for permission first. You know when you, like, say to your friends, 
well, should we all have a night out together, girls' night? And I said, let me just ask my boyfriend first. What do you mean, ask your boyfriend first, whether you can leave the house? If one of Joel's mates asks him to go out, he just, if he says, oh, I'm just going to check with Leah, he only checks with me. He doesn't say, Leah, please can I have permission to leave my house and spend time with my actual friends instead of being stuck in the house with my girlfriend all the time. He just asks because I might have already made plans weeks in advance with other friends of ours, etc. And I understand that there's a certain point of respect in a relationship, but control is not respect. Always choose the night nice boy you don't want a toxic relationship who wants a toxic relationship it's not fun hey guys get ready with me to go see don tolliver i actually am so excited i haven't stopped thinking about this all day if you don't understand my excitement this is basically like my equivalent of the eras tour this is my eras tour i think i'm going for super super bronzy makeup tonight sorry i had to get all my hair out of the way it was really bothering me i haven't been to like a proper concert in such a long time the last one i went to was auburn rodeo but i feel like that doesn't really count I don't know. I haven't seen an artist that I like truly, truly love in such a long time. I'm also going with one of my best friends in the entire world. She's on her way to my house right now to get ready with me. I just got off work and she also just got off work. This is your proof that you could still do fun things post-grad. Forgot to put on music before I started getting ready again. I'm gonna like tape a reminder to my vanity. It's actually such a good thing I got up because I was starting to sweat all my makeup off and I needed it to be colder in here. I have no idea what I'm exactly wearing tonight. I have an outfit in mind that I like thought of in my head, but if I go in my closet and I can't find it, I might throw up it. But the nails are so cute and they match so dawn coated. Like, you're kidding. Taking a break to set everything. I know my under eyes look crazy right now. Okay, it's time to do the eyes. This is very important because I think I want to do a more fun eye look than I normally go for. I actually have no idea where I'm going with this, so... Hopefully it turns out cute. Also, I know Don Tolliver has been bringing out like fun guest appearances at his shows. And I'm so sick that LA had Justin Bieber because I grew up obsessed with Justin Bieber. I think that I would have evaporated into thin air if I was at that show. Okay, eyes are coming along pretty good so far. I'm gonna highlight a little bit. Okay, blinding. Do we like this? Cause I think I'm gonna move on to lips. Yeah. Okay, this is the final look. The setting spray's still drying a little bit. I think I like it, and now I'm gonna go get dressed. See if the outfit I had in mind is actually in my closet. I love you guys so much. Good morning. It's Spirit Week Day 3. I wanted to wake up at 5, but it's 7.40, so we need to get ready. I haven't done heatless curls in a week. But let's see how these ones turned out. You know when you know your outfit's gonna look good with curly hair? Today is red out for spirit day. I have the perfect outfit. It's so cute. But I set like 10 alarms this morning and I slept through every single one of them. I wanted to wake up at 5 to finish up some homework because I slept early last night. Specifically to wake up early. But I woke up later than I normally do. My outfit isn't like really crazy red out it's like a cute little fall outfit red but it'll still work i'll show you guys at the end i was actually supposed to leave at 7 20 because i had to help set up for a student council thing i need to start setting my phone across the room so i actually get up when i turn it off tomorrow's halloween and this weekend guess where i'm going to this weekend i'm going to a billy eilish concert still have no idea what i'm wearing i'm so excited i love going to concerts so much i also don't know how i have this much energy because I'm barely getting any sleep this week i'm going to the one on sunday night i'm actually taking the sat saturday morning so going to the concert would just like be a big relief after this needs to stay all day because i have practice after school i don't know if i ever mentioned but my team are region champions the last region match was last week so now it's time for playoffs but because we were first in the region we got a bye week which is basically like you don't have a match this week our first one was supposed to be on halloween night so i'm really glad that we don't have one september and october are literally the best months like in the whole entire year and december like they're all so eventful but the plan for tomorrow okay my two final halloween costumes i think i'm gonna be russell from up so my brown skirt came in and then i already have a yellow tank top and my friend has like a girl scout what is this called like you know what i mean i'm just gonna do like pigtails it's gonna be so cute i'm going trick-or-treating with my friend and then after trick-or-treating we're going to our other friend's house watch movies and do a bonfire i think we're both gonna be smurfs or mario and luigi i already have my outfit picked out let me show you guys okay guys this is my outfit honestly okay i didn't wake up super early today because i literally have a free block when i get to school but i'm gonna go back my bags i hope you guys have an amazing day bye i love you guys get ready with me for school i'm exhausted i'm about to sound gross but i went to the beach saturday and i didn't wash my hair after because it looked really cute like beachy hair vibes you know 
so whatever i didn't wash it and now it's wednesday and i still haven't washed it and i just put it in a slick bag i'll deal with it later but it's kind of gross right now look at my nails guys i got them done like two days ago and the place where i get my nails done is right next to the place where i get my car washed so i left my car to get like washed and detailed while i did my nails it was just very needed because my nails were very grown out and my car was very dirty we're getting to the time of the year again that school starts to get like hard and unbearable like bro i have so many assignments for english right now and i've been like procrastinating and i, I can't yesterday okay my first period is math i don't know why my first period is always math but anyways so we had a test and i told my mom i was like mom i'm not ready she was like okay just don't go like go to school late and go to math tutoring after school and then take the test when you're actually ready so that's exactly what i did i went to tutoring and i actually understand it a lot better now you see the difference before and after setting also the main character in the show that i'm watching just died so i don't even know if i want to keep watching it because like now i'm just angry it's like when derek died in Grey's anatomy and i know he's not the main character but you get my point right okay i finished getting ready bye guys get ready with me for 10 hours of school it's my first late wednesday today so i have to be at school from 8 30 a.m to 7 30 p.m and i literally don't think i can do it like i've never had to do that i've never had a job where i've had to work that long or anything so i know it's not that bad but i'm not used to that so wish me luck literally okay i just got dressed it's a pay to play day today so i'm wearing pink bottoms because on wednesdays we wear pink and if i'm gonna be there all day then i thought it would be cute to wear pink i don't know but i'm just wearing this crew neck because it's cold this morning um, and I straightened over my hair. It was already pretty much straight, but I just wanted to make sure. But yesterday actually was pretty good. Um, it went by fast. We first had a meeting in the morning and it lasted like over an hour. So that took up most of the first half of the day. And then it was like basically lunchtime. And then after lunch, we, my class did facials on the new class so we like got assigned someone and we gave them a facial and like we got the same thing done to us when we were new so it was kind of fun like being the ones doing it this time but yeah that was fun because i liked getting to do it on someone that i don't already know and she loved it and i loved it because i love facials but yeah i just want to try and stay busy today because otherwise this is going to be the longest day of my life because, like, you don't understand, these days are already super long and can get really boring if you're doing nothing. But now we're adding on another three hours. But Regan's going to come in at 5.15 today, so that'll give me something to do later on in the day. So that's good. But I just have a feeling my, like, beginning of my day, like, until 4.30 is going to be very boring. Also, I don't know if I have a dollar in cash and I need to pay a dollar to wear these pants so i need to figure that out so if i go upstairs and see that i don't have one then i'm gonna change into black because i think you have to use cash why would i pay a dollar off my card i just don't carry cash around ever anymore like the only cash i ever have is from tips that i get from school but i spend that on starbucks in one trip so guys it's back actually i think this is a different one like the original one i had right there is gone but then probably from like all the touching i did of the first one i got like two more so i put two pinball patches on the wall last night and they were like completely white when i woke up but now this one's like dried out but this one's like there it's so annoying because once i cover it then the concealer is just like too light for my face and i can see it but whatever i'm not gonna let it ruin my day it's not even that noticeable it's just that's my least favorite place to have a pimple ever because this might be tmi but every time i'm about to get my period i get a pimple right here on my chin and that's why i hate them so much because i always know what's coming and it just it's every single time like without a fail right there on my chin i cannot stand it and it's just such an unattractive spot like i don't know i just hate it but i will say that's better than like a forehead pimple those are terrible because they're just right there and you can see them no matter what. I'm not going to jinx myself, but I normally don't really get those anymore, so. But I swear if I get one on my forehead now because I said that, oh my gosh. I'll actually sue someone.
Okay, so that's pretty much it for makeup. I want to make sure it's really set. And now I'm going to... Oh my god, I just threw that. Line my lips. Perfect. Looking like a clown. Just how I like it. And then the finishing touch. Just running a little bit of oil through my ends. Okay. And we're all ready. to see this year number one is so much a boy i literally love that it's so cute it's just like i don't know i love it next is being bruno mars and wearing like the red pajamas i think that is so cute next one is princesses i think it's so cute like if you have a friend with curly hair she could be moana like it's not like you have to be a certain thing like you could be any princess and like i feel like whichever one you look like like that is so cute Next one is Cops and Robbers. I literally love that. It's so cute. Like, it's just simple, easy, it's cute. Me and my best friend were Cop and Robber for Halloween in the fourth grade. It was so cute. But I told her we definitely need to recreate it. Next one is the Wizard of Oz cast. That is so cute. Like, you have yourself a Dorothy, like the Tin Guy. And then Pirates. It's so, like, cute and, like, it's easy. It's just, oh, yes. When I was picking out my costume for this Halloween, I considered literally all of these. And I am being one of the costumes that I mentioned, so... I wonder if y'all can guess which one I'm gonna be out of all the ones that I said. Okay, peace, y'all! Hey guys, get ready with me for bed. Okay, so I'm currently breaking out because I left my toner at my grandma's house. And it's really annoying me because I literally love the Paula's Choice toner. So I'm using the Glow Recipe one as like a, a substitute for the Paula's Choice, I guess. Anyways, I had a test today for marine. No, I had a test today for environmental science. And I think I did good. I don't know. It was kind of hard. <gasps> oh my gosh, guys, I have one pimple on my nose. Another one there. Anyways, this pimple is like throbbing. And then this one, there's like one coming up right there. Guys, like we had our final grades um, the other day. So now it's like a whole new grading period, I guess. And why am I like, I'm like so stressed out. Like I swear I have so much work to do and it's really annoying me because i literally hate when i come home and i have so much work to do like it's so stressful guys um but yeah i'm really excited for track like i love running and i just feel like it will be super fun but none of my friends are doing it because they all want to do tennis and there's i think it's flag tennis and track for the spring season and i want to do track okay anyways i'm done bye guys Hey guys, get ready, me for bed. So, I'm actually surprised I'm going to get ready, me, because I feel just, like, really bad. Um, and my whole head is hurting, and these things are weird. Because I got braces on this morning, guys. But second day is supposed to be worst... Wait, what? 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 The second day is supposed to be worse, um, and tomorrow is Halloween. So, I don't think... I'm going to be able to go out anymore. I don't know. If it's as bad as it's everyone says, then I don't think I'm going to be able to go out. But I hope I am because I really want to. Because like, I have my costume and everything, so... I don't know what I'm going to do. But Like, they're not as bad as I thought they would be. But I feel like it's not even my teeth that are hurting. It's more like my face. Not like my face, like... My head hurts. I have a really bad headache. I felt so sick and dizzy. But yeah, if you haven't seen them, actually, this is what they look like because you can't really see them when I'm talking. So. Today, I just went to get these done because I was I actually had a sleepover in my friend's house last night. I woke up at, it was like half seven, I think. Um, No, it was not half seven. It was like half six, actually. I woke up really early. Yeah, I woke up at like seven or half six. It was something like that um and we had because we had a party last night that was so good i loved that we are at my friend's house and then my mom picked me up at like half eight and then i went home i had a shower really quick we got in the car and then went to the dentist the orthodontist to get them on and then after that 
we went to Don John because I was fine like then and then it was kind of just like a headache leaving Don John. We got food and stuff in Don John. Um it was kinda of just like a headache and then we came home. Wait, what did we do after Don John? We came home, I'm pretty sure. Um and then we went up to my auntie's house. We're just home like a half an hour and I'm in my cozy pajamas now. I'm gonna get into bed and go to sleep. I know it's five past five, but who cares, y'all? I've put wax on my braces because they gave me like a little goodie bag and it was like, well, not like a goodie bag, it's like a starter bag for braces. And they gave me like six of these and they have wax in them for your teeth. It's like a teeth wax. <laughs> what the hell? I just break them off and roll it into a ball and stick it on the teeth. See the way this one's kind of like white and then this one also has it because they're like rubbing off my gums so fun um but yeah i hope i can go out tomorrow because i'm supposed to go to my auntie's house for four for like a little party with my little cousins because she's just doing like a little thing for them so i'm going to go i think in my costume and i have to get on the bus i think because i don't know whether i don't know whether i'll be able to get driven over or not but you know yeah. My room is actually really messy, so I need to clean that tomorrow. But I'm not doing that now. If I get a burst of energy and I feel fine later on, I might do it because all my makeup and everything is still in my bag for my friend's house because I just haven't had time. So. Like, that's even weird to do. But yeah. Bye, guys.